the ocean, home to a rich and diverse ecosystem, guardian to tens of millions of marine lives. It covers more than 70% of Earth. But all around the world, our oceans are in crisis. Today, an unimaginable amount of trash covers our oceans and shores. This is Taiwan, host to 10% of the world's marine species. But it's an environment under threat. Taiwan's geographical position is actually affected by heavy rainfall from the Pacific Ocean. 东南亚带来的很多垃圾，那堆积在我们的沙滩上，尤其是抛弃式塑胶制品的需求的增加，所以其实他们制造的塑胶垃圾也是越来越成长。它其实就变成污染了，从环境整洁变成重大的海洋污染。当它是污染的话呢，当然清扫很重要，可是更重要的是源头的管制。就好像水龙头坏了没有关，只是大家忙着拖地而已。拖地虽然很重要，可最重要的是要有去把那个坏掉的水龙头给它修好，这就是源头简单的观念。其实净滩呢，它是一个末端，那它当然是可以解决一部分海废的问题。过去很多的环保团体净滩了这么多年，但是却一直没有一个人，或是也没有政府单位可以回答说，到底我们的海岸上有多少的塑胶垃圾？那这些废弃物最多的地方累积在哪里 ？12.7 million tons of plastic flows into the oceans each year. That's almost 2,000 shipping containers full of trash every day for a whole year. This is why source management is our utmost priority. We have an idea of just what to do. If we don't have a way to reduce this problem, we actually don't have a way to manage it. It doesn't just clean it, it has to be from the beginning to make a plan to reduce the waste from the sea to the ocean. Thankfully, we now have the expertise to efficiently address sources of marine debris. In 2003, Japanese environmentalists monitoring the rivers of Yamagata developed a technique to survey the amount of solid waste in a given area. Called rapid assessment, this can be done visually. In 2006, this method was adopted by the government to determine the amount of coastal debris in all of Japan. どこを重点的に回収活動、クリーンアップ活動をすればいいかっていうのが客観的に理解できるということになったので、国の対策あるいは地方政府の対策もそこをまず一番ゴミが多いところを回収しましょうということになっていきました。So what exactly is rapid assessment? Rapid assessment is when we look for debris and estimate its total quantity. Taiwan's coastline is roughly 1,200 kilometers long. We've set up one monitoring site for every 10 kilometers. That's 121 sites around Taiwan. At each site, we mark a 100-meter line to sample. Here, we assess the amount of debris, its material type. The topography of the site, and whether it's accessible by a garbage truck. Then we use the volume of one garbage bag as a reference to estimate the amount of debris here. Then we do this many times along the entire coast. This year, we've conducted the first island-wide rapid assessment for Taiwan. We will do one every season, so we can understand the impact of winds and currents on marine debris. We can then begin to identify hot spots and the types stranded here in Taiwan. Japan and Korea have faced similar problems. Rapid assessments have helped researchers identify areas of concern, locate the origin of debris, and develop effective policies. It helps to understand. Uh, how large amount of debris are existing on the coast? Which area are mostly polluted? So it helps for calculating our money to invest. Drone can identify only bigger items than tire, but generally it cannot detect small items. In 2018, we conducted a two-week survey around Taiwan using rapid assessment. 
we were able to do this using fewer resources than conventional methods. We estimate there are between 10 to 15 million liters of debris trapped along our coast. More than half are concentrated on just 10% of the coastline. Plastic bottles and derelict fiction gear are the most rampant. So now that we've identified where, what, and how much, we can improve recycling and removal efforts and make policy recommendations for source management. We can even prevent debris from flowing into our oceans. All thanks to Rapid Assessment.